Vaughn writes in, why is there an impairment test for intangible assets with finite lives? Don't we just amortize them? Yes, you amortize them. However, if the carrying value of the asset, if it now exceeds the fair value, so the carrying value on the book is now greater than the fair value, then you have to write it down and take the impairment charge. So, and you need to test for impairment at least once a year. But you are correct, you amortize it, but you still have to test for impairment. Hope that's helpful.